Hello guys, welcome back to our stack. Well, uh, this video is going to be about the error failure when attempting to copy boot files. So you are trying to fix a no boot issue on your computer by following some steps, maybe from video or a blog. And then after you run the bcd boot commands, you get this error that says failure when attempting to copy boot files. This error would usually occur only with bcd boot. If you notice, it says failure when attempting to copy boot files. So we are trying to copy boot files in this command like C colon windows or D colon windows. But the actual files are not present there. Why they are not present? We will cover that in this video and also how to fix this issue. So let's get started. Okay, for someone who is running these commands for the first time, I'm quickly going to cover how to boot your computer into Windows reinstallation environment. However, if you are already on the command prompt in the Windows PE, feel free to skip few seconds of this video. To start with, we need a Windows installation media. It could be your DVD or a USB that you can use to boot your dead computer. Okay. And if you don't have a bootable USB, follow the steps from my recent video that covers how to create the installation media. You can also visit the blog that I've recently created. The link for the same is mentioned in the description. Once you have the bootable USB or a DVD, attach it to your computer and power it on. After you start, press Escape, F2 or F12 to get into the BIOS. Your keys could be different. So refer the OEM. In my case, it is F2 to enter the setup. So I press F2 and get into the BIOS. On the BIOS screen, use left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to select the boot menu. From the boot menu, you can use the up and down arrow to select the CD-ROM or a removable devices for a USB to boot your device from. Select the removable device or a USB or a flash drive and then hit enter. Next, to save the configuration, press F10 and hit yes. On this page, hit spacebar or the return button on your keyboard to boot this machine or computer using a bootable media. On this screen, you can either use tab from your keyboard to navigate between these options and select the next button or use a mouse. On this screen, instead of install now, select repair your computer because that is what we need to get into the Windows pre-installation environment. Since I have used Windows 7 bootable USB, I get this screen. It is trying to look for Windows installation. If you are using Windows 8 or Windows 10, your options will be different. It will not look for the installation. However, remember uh, on the Windows 8 or 10, go under the advanced setting, troubleshoot and select command prompt. Here, I see Windows 10 Enterprise. That's the installed OS. So I hit next. On this screen, I have to select command prompt. Again, it will be same for you with your Windows 8 or Windows 10 bootable USB. So guys, I will run the bcd boot space c colon backslash window space forward slash s space c colon just to show you that I get this error. Okay. Let us see what is this error. I will type notepad and I will use the open window of a notepad as a file explorer. explorer to navigate within the drives that are present on this computer because I am trying to show what is issue. Okay, so I'll just clear the file name and select file types all files so that all the files within this computer are visible. Okay, now you see I have C drive, D drive, F, E, X. Okay, these are my drives. Under C drive, I don't have a Windows directory. All I have is the uh, system uh, boot files. Under D drive, I have my data. Under E, it's blank and under F, I have my windows. Okay. If you recall the command, it was bcd boot space c colon backslash windows. The files are not in C, the files are on F drive. And that's the reason when it is trying to copy the files that does not exist in the first place, it fails. Now, this would happen if you use Windows 7 bootable to boot a Windows 10 OS or if you use a Windows 10 bootable to boot a Windows 7 OS. In that case, your default drive letters would get jumbled up or would get assigned a new drive letter. The other reason here could be the EFI. 
you are trying to boot a legacy BIOS OS with an EFI system or you are trying to boot a EFI system with a legacy BIOS. Even in that case, it will not allow you to run these commands, the drive letters would get jumbled up. So, instead of doing running this command in the first place, we are absolutely going to ignore the command and run the other, pro, other commands to fix the no boot issue. So let's run the first command that would be bcd edit space forward slash export space c colon backslash bcd and then hit enter. After this run attribute command that would be att rib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space hyphen h hyphen s hyphen r. This command is to make sure that the bcd files are visible, not hidden and not in read-only mode. It allows us to do the operation. Once that is done, type the command run space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd. Here we are going to rename the bcd file as a backup since we don't want to use it. So you can rename it anything. I wrote bcd.old01. Then we have to run the last command that would be boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd this is going to rebuild the bcd as in it will find the windows installation on your drives and then once it is done it will tell you the drive it has found the windows and will ask you if you want to add that windows installation to the bcd if you are sure hit y on your keyboard to save the entry in the bcd Okay guys, so now we have corrected the bcd file and added the right windows uh, directory where it would find the windows and boot your computer. But we haven't actually fixed the problem that you receive in the first place with that command bcd boot space c colon backslash windows. What we have done, the command bcd boot, instead of bcd boot command trying to find the windows installation, we have rebuilt the bcd. That is why there is no need to run the bcd boot command. Now exit and reboot your system let's hope it boots up successfully if yes if the machine comes up successfully please do hit like and subscribe my channel do leave a comment if it doesn't we will work together to find the solution thank you so much guys for watching the video wish you have a great time ahead cheers bye bye